بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The split of the sea was the tenth sign that was given to Musa. That day is a famous day, a day of victory to the oppressed, a day of humiliation to the oppressors. That day is the tenth day of the first month. We Muslims are still celebrating that event. We celebrate it by fasting the whole day. We call it Ashura, the tenth day of the first month of the year. This lecture will be about what happened to children of Israel and Musa and Harun in the desert of, of Sinai. We will start by station one. Children of Israel, after that unique day, instead of being thankful to God, the first thing they requested from Musa is to give them an idol or statute so that they can worship and prostrate to it. They said, they said that because they passed by a group of pagans prostrating to a stone. Wicked people are always wicked. Whatever you show them, whatever you prove to them, they will be also wicked. Even the sea split did not work in their beliefs. Their minds are already occupied by slavery and wickedness. That was the first station. Of course, Moses and Harun blamed them and instructed them that God is not an idol, God is not a stone, God is not an statute. God Almighty, nobody can see him. God Almighty is nothing of this nature. وجاوزنا ببني إسرائيل البحر فأتوا على قوم يعكفون على أصنام لهم قالوا يا موسى جعل لنا إلها كما لهم آلهة قال إنكم قوم تجهلون. And we took the children of Israel across the sea. Then they came upon a people intent in devotion to some idols of theirs. They said, O Moses, make for us a God just as they have gods. He said, Indeed, you are a people behaving ignorantly. <laughs> Indeed, those worshippers, destroyed is that in which they are engaged, and worthless is whatever they were doing. Station 2. As-Samiri. God made an appointment with Musa for 30 nights. God, for a reason we will talk about it later, perfected the 30 nights by the addition of 10 nights. So the term was completed as 40 nights. Musa gave his place to Harun among the people. Musa arrived at the appointment at the Mount Tur, في جبل Tur, Mount Tur. Allah spoke to him again. Musa was very happy and thankful. He loved to see Allah directly. Allah said, look at the mountain. If it should remain in place, then you will see me. But when Allah appeared to the mountain, he rendered it level. Musa fell unconscious. 
when he awoke, he said, exalted you, I have repented to you. Then Allah gave Musa the Torah, written on the tablets. The Torah contains instructions and explanations for all things needed. At the same time, coincidentally, Harun discovered that the people had thefted and stolen a lot of jewelry and golden pieces, ornaments, those wicked people, as we said before. So he ordered the people to collect the thefted things. Most of it was golden. The Samiri took advantage and asked them in secret to give it to him so that he can make a golden god for them. Now, who's a Samiri? A Samiri is a very strange person. He was among those who passed the sea. He saw all the miracles and signs, but did not change anything of his wickedness. He was most likely one of the children of Israel. Lived the slavery life in Egypt. Plus his wickedness, he was most likely practicing magic and know how to communicate with the devils. That wicked guy noticed something nobody noticed except him. He noticed during the escape inside the sea that there is a strange person who was walking side by side with Musa and Harun. So he figured out that this person must be Gabriel, the angel. He noticed that the step prints, the step print of his horse is always green. So he figured out that this is Gabriel and this is his horse. And these green prints are because of God's blessings. So he took some of the green sand in a bag. The wicked man remained silent, waiting for the chance. When Musa went in the appointment with God, he took this opportunity to invent an idol that have some qualities of life. As we said, the Samiri took advantage and asked the Israelites in secret to give the golden, the stolen gold to him so that he can make a golden god for them. He used the stolen gold to make a golden calf, a golden calf that can produce a sound which is similar to the sound of cattle, of a cow or a calf. Then he told the people that this is the true God that gave Moses the miracles and the signs. And he is the one who told Moses for, called Moses for the appointment. But Moses lost the way and he went astray. He doesn't know how to find God. This is God. So he told them that Moses is searching for God while God is here. This plot succeeded. Most of the people believed him, started worshiping and prostrating, etc., etc. Harun tried his best to stop this wickedness, but they insisted and threatened Harun that they may kill him. When Moses returned to his people angry and grieved, he threw down the tablets and seized Harun by the hair of his head 
When Moses returned to his people, angry and grieved, he threw down the tablets and seized Harun by the hair of his head and beard, pulling him towards him. But Harun explained the issue to Musa and told him that the wicked people were about to kill him. And there was only two choices in front of him, either wait till Musa return or to split the people to two groups by taking the good doers away from the wrongdoers towards the Mount of Tur. Musa was convinced by this, was convinced by Harun's excuse, went to the golden calf, destroyed it, put it in the fire, then threw it as ashes into the sea so that nobody can trace it anymore. Musa alayhi salam dealt with the golden calf trial as follows. The calf worshippers should kill each other. A Samiri should leave the congregation and live isolated. But because of God's mercy, the Almighty forgave this sin that they may repent and regret and return to the right path. ووعدنا موسى ثلاثين ليلة وأتمناها بعشر فتم ميقات ربه أربعين ليلة وقال موسى لأخيه هارون اخلفني في قومي وأصلح ولا تتبع سبيل المفسدين and we made an appointment with Moses for thirty nights and perfected them by the addition of ten. So the term of his Lord was completed as forty nights. And Moses said to his brother Aaron, Take my place among my people, do right by them, and do not follow the way of the corruptors. <laughs> And when Moses arrived at our appointed time, and his Lord spoke to him, he said, My Lord, show me yourself, that I may look at you. Allah said, You will not see me, but look at the mountain. If it should remain in place, then you will see me. But when his Lord appeared to the mountain, he rendered it level, and Moses fell unconscious. And when he awoke, he said, Exalted are you. I have repented to you, and I am the first of the believers. قال يا موسى إني اصطفيتك على الناس برسالاتي وبكلامي فخذ ما آتيتك وكن من الشاكرين. Allah said, O oh Moses, I have chosen you over the people with my messages and my words to you. So take what I have given you and be among the grateful. وَكَتَبْنَا لَهُ فِي الْأَلْوَاحِ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مَوْعِظَةً وَتَفْصِيلًا لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ فَخُذْهَا بِقُوَّةٍ وَأْمُرْ قَوْمَكَ يَأْخُذُوا بِأَحْسَنِهَا سأريكم دار الفاسقين. And we wrote for him on the tablets something of all things, instruction and explanation for all things, saying, Take them with determination, and order your people to take the best of it, 
I will show you the home of the and the people of Moses made after his departure from their ornaments a calf, an image having a lowing sound. Did they not see that it could neither speak to them nor guide them to a way? They took it for worship and they were wrongdoers. And when regret overcame them and they saw that they had gone astray, they said, if our Lord does not have mercy upon us and forgive us, we will surely be among the losers. وألقى الألواح وأخذ برأس أخيه يجره إليه قال ابن أم إن القوم استضعفوني وكادوا يقتلونني فلا تشمت بي الأعداء فلا تشمت بي الأعداء ولا تجعلني مع القوم الظالمين. And when Moses returned to his people, angry and grieved, he said, How wretched is that by which you have replaced me after my departure? Were you impatient over the matter of your Lord? And he threw down the tablets and seized his brother by the hair of his head pulling him toward him. Aaron said, O son of my mother, indeed the people oppressed me and were about to kill me. So let not the enemies rejoice over me and do not place me among the wrongdoing people. Moses said, my Lord, forgive me and my brother and admit us into your mercy, for you are the most merciful of the merciful. Indeed, those who took the calf for worship will obtain anger from their Lord and humiliation in the life of this world. And thus do we recompense the inventors of falsehood. Musa chose 70 men among his people. He took them to the Mount of Tur to give them the Torah tablets. Those 70 men were the best of his people but still they are wicked. When they reached the Mount Tur, they asked Musa a wicked question. They said, let us see Allah directly, otherwise we will disbelieve you. Period. Musa chose those 70 men to upgrade them, to show them the bounty of Allah to make them partners in the rewards of God. But the wicked people, the ex-slaves, thought that Musa and Allah are desperate for them and for their help. God sent to them an earthquake. It killed them all. Musa prayed to Allah to have mercy on his people. 
Allah again, as usual, listened to Moses, listened to his prayers, and revived them all. Then he gave them the tablets which contain the covenant, the Ten Commandments, and the law. واختار موسى قومه سبعين رجلا لميقاتنا فلما أخذتهم الرجفة قال رب لو شئت أهلكتهم من قبل وإياي أتهلكنا بما فعل السفهاء منا إن هي إلا فتنتك تضل بها من تشاء وتهدي من تشاء and Moses chose from his people 70 men for our appointment. And when the earthquake seized them, he said, My Lord, if you had willed, you could have destroyed them before and me as well. Would you destroy us for what the foolish among us have done? This is not but your trial by which you send astray whom you will and guide whom you will. You are our protector, so forgive us and have mercy upon us, and you are the best of forgivers. Musa and Harun gathered the children of Israel, gave them the Torah and took the covenant from them. But the wicked people were hesitant. God took a mountain of the ground, put it above them like an umbrella, then asked them to follow the covenant. They prostrated to God, but tilting their heads to watch the mountain. Finally, they agreed for the covenant and they took the tablets. God divided Israelites into 12 tribes. 12 tribes, 12 descendants. For each son of Jacob, there will be a tribe called after his name. The details of this division will be discussed later. Moses' people implored him for water. God inspired to Musa to strike a certain stone with his staff. Twelve springs gushed forth from it. Each tribe had its water spring. During the travel of the twelve tribes, God shaded them with clouds. For food, God sent down upon them two types of food, manna and quails, al-man was salwa, which must be the best food for human being since it is the choice of their creator who knows the best about their needs and their physiology. All these are bounty of God because of his mercy to Moses and his people. But the wrongdoers, the wicked people, the ex-slaves, wanted the food that they used to eat at the days of slavery at Egypt. They said to Moses, we can never endure one kind of food. We want green herbs, cucumbers, garlic, lentils, onions. Moses said, why, why would you exchange what is bitter for what is less? But they insisted on their demands. So he instructed them to go to jihad to liberate Palestine from the oppressors, working for themselves and the for and for the Pharaoh. But again the wicked people, as expected, refused that. But as expected, the wicked people 
as expected, refused that offer. But the wicked people, as expected, refused the offer. وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى لَنْ نَصْبِرَ عَلَى طَعَامٍ وَاحِدٍ فَادْعُ لَنَا رَبَّكَ فَادْعُ لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُخْرِجْ لَنَا مِمَّا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضُ مِنْ بَقْلِهَا وَقِثَّائِهَا وَفُومِهَا وَعَدَسِهَا وَبَصَلِهَا قال أتستبدلون الذي هو أدنى بالذي هو خير اهبطوا مصرا فإن لكم ما سألتم وضربت عليهم الذلة والمسكنة وباءوا بغضب من الله ذلك بأنهم كانوا يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون النبيين بغير الحق ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يعتدون And recall when you said, O oh Moses, we can never endure one kind of food. So call upon your Lord to bring forth for us from the earth its green herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentils and its onions. Moses said, Would you exchange what is better for what is less? Go into any settlement and indeed you will have what you have asked. And they were covered with humiliation and poverty and returned with anger from Allah upon them. That was because they repeatedly disbelieved in the signs of Allah and killed the prophets without right. That was because they disobeyed and were habitually transgressive. Some people in Palestine hear the news of Musa and Harun. They rejoiced and became very happy that Musa could come to their land and liberate it from the oppressors. Two men from a Palestine town went to Musa to meet the Prophet of God and to declare their belief and to tell Musa and the people around him about the happiness of the oppressed people everywhere because of his victory against the Pharaoh. They told Musa and the Israelites that all the oppressed people in Palestine are waiting for the help and ready to join them against their oppressors. What they need is only to declare jihad. Then once they open any town gate, people would join them immediately. Again, the wicked generation, the ex-slaves, refused jihad, disbelieved the two men, disbelieved Moses and Harun. قال رجلان من الذين يخافون أنعم الله عليهم دخلوا عليهم الباب فإذا دخلتموه فإنكم غالبون وعلى الله فتوكلوا إن كنتم مؤمنين said two men from those who feared to disobey upon whom Allah had bestowed favor. Enter upon them through the gate, for when you have entered it, you will be predominant, and upon Allah rely, if you should be believers. They refused jihad, they refused to fight the oppressors, and to help the oppressed people. So what was their punishment by God? Forty years they continued to wander in the Sinai desert. Yes, God gave them the manna and the quails, and he shared them with the clouds, uh, gave them water and uh, flocks, but they continue to wander in the desert of Sinai. They have children. That generation, uh, they became older and older. But their sons asked them, Fathers, why, why we are wandering in the desert? What happened? 
What is the issue? So they told him that, well, we have been slaves in Egypt before. Moses wants us to fight, to fight the oppressors. We don't want to fight. This life is suitable for us. So the children said, well, why don't you? The children said, why don't we fight? We fight in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, you will be victorious. God will give us the victory. Will guarantee us the success. He said, okay, go and do it yourself. For our generation, we almost done. If you want to fight, you go you, yourself. So they went to Moses and uh, to the prophet and they told him that yes, now we are ready. At that time, Harun was already dead in his grave. Moses gathered them, chose an army out of them, um, made the training and made all the arrangements to start liberating Palestine villages and towns from the oppressors. People in Palestine were very happy when they heard this. So they were waiting for the liberation. But Moses died in Jordan at the borders with Palestine before his army enters Palestine. The rest of the story will be given in other episodes, inshallah.